Good morning. Um, my name is Yasu from Japan, um, co founder, CBO, Chief Business Officer, Space Tainment. So, two days before, uh, I flew from Tokyo to Istanbul, 13 hours, three hours of layover, and another three and a half hours to arrive finally in Riga, Latvia, my first time here. And as I, as I was driving through the uh, uh, highway and going over the bridge, I was like, wow, this is such a beautiful city. And wow is exactly what space tainment is all about. So space tainment is a company with a bold vision of creating a hotel in space. So, bold, crazy vision to build a hotel in space. And we are very serious. Um, so, I'm very used to uh, being told I'm crazy and it's not possible, because eight years ago, actually, I was working on space debris. And uh, when no, no one knew, or at least the general public didn't knew, did, didn't know the term uh, space debris. And as, as, as I was pitching like this uh, in front of uh, a lot of people, people thought I was crazy. I'm so happy to uh, know that many people actually are aware of the issue of space debris now, uh, potentially because of uh, the company, uh, Astroscale, which uh, we grew from three people to over uh, more than 100 people now. Uh, and uh, so I, I, I'm very excited that I'm, I, I, I am now challenging this uh, very, very uh, interesting but uh, difficult uh, mission to create a hotel in space. So why am I here in Latvia? Because I want to hopefully inspire people here that it is good to dream, and space is about business. So dreaming is great, but if it doesn't lead to business, why do you do it? So I, I highlight the fact that I'm chief business officer because I want to inspire people that actually space can be business. Space, you can make money. Otherwise, I'm not here. I, by the way, <clears throat> there are a couple of keywords I want to share today. You don't need to be a scientist, and I'm not a space nerd. You don't need to be a scientist, and Yasu is not a space nerd. I used to be an investment banker. One of the reasons I entered this industry was because I thought that this industry needs more business people with business solution. Japanese government is allocating roughly 5 billion US dollars this year for space programs. Only three years ago, that was 3.6 billion. And it's going to continue to increase, I'm told. Globally, this trend is the same. So, Space programs, space opportunity is real. Now, um, I'm also very down to earth because I'm a businessman. So I am uh, planning to build a hotel in space, but I'm starting here on the ground because I want to do uh, POC, product market up. Uh, I want to make sure that the pro product works uh, well, so proof of concept. And I also want to do P <coughs> product market fit, PMF. So we are a space company, but we are uh, no different than any other um, uh, companies or, or, or uh, startup. We approach business or approach our mission like a business. Again, I want to inspire people in Latvia and people in the audience that space can be a business. And one of the things I, I decided, one of the reasons I ch decided to do space tainment is to challenge 
finding customers in the commercial sector, not the public sector. So the, for the past eight years, actually, I was uh, uh, focused on uh, uh, going after the public sector, public uh, sector money. But with the space payment, I'm hoping to grab the interest of the general public who might be interested in uh, traveling to space. What exactly I'm doing? Right now, I'm creating a hotel in Japan, in Asia, and hopefully around the world. In five years, I want to start a project in space, but in the LEO level, low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station is. Our space station is. And within 10 years, I want to build a hotel on the lunar surface, not, not build, start a project on the lunar surface within 10 years. And I'm very, very serious. So why am I here in Latvia? Because to build a hotel in space, first, I want to build a submerged hotel underwater to replicate the environment, to test out the technology that we need for space. So I'm here in Latvia because I learned that there's this mission called Mission 2030, which I felt, oh my god, this could be a good, great synergy for my project. Submerged underwater, underwater hotel of maybe five rooms, using a lot of the technologies that will be necessary uh, for space. For example, efficient energy, because in space you cannot have wire feeding you know, your uh, space station. Also, when you think about space station, you, f you look at all the pictures and it's very cold, very modest. But this is a hotel for probably high net worth people. So I want to create a hotel that is comfortable. And maybe perhaps uh, use the technology, wood technology of Latvia, uh, because I like to make it very organic. Why am I here in Latvia? Because <clears throat> I'm also told that the government is very serious about expanding their ambitions in space. And of course, there's satellite technology, perhaps launch vehicles, Earth observation, very important. I have been working on Earth observation. I'm a believer in Earth observation. But why not also do some fun stuff? Hotel in space. So this is the reason why I'm in Latvia. And I'm here also because I want to find uh, collaborators. Because last, uh, yesterday, someone was talking about uh, space as an uh, industry with collaboration. But I, I also believe in that. I want to find local companies, uh, students, anybody uh, who would be interested in collaborating with my company. So again, I flew all the way from Tokyo, discovered this place called Latvia, and I'm feeling so great. This is my second day, or third day, um, but I'm still already feeling um, uh, amazed um, with the potential of having uh, uh, um, my uh, submerged hotel project here to be tested and the technology to be brought up to space. By the way, uh, Japan also has good technology. And I've been sharing with my friends uh, back home. I've been updating what I have been talking here. And they're very also excited uh, with the potential of doing the submerged hotel project here in Latvia with the government here and also potentially with the companies. And so, if any of, any of you would be interested in collaborating and working on this amazing project to build a submerged hotel uh, under the water and hopefully in the future, very near future, in space, please let me know. I will be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yasa. Oh, okay.
May we continue with question? We can sit down. Okay. Sure. Here. Mm -hmm. There are questions from the audience. We have uh, questions in our Meteor platform. Um, Hello. Can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Hi. Thank you for sh sharing your dream. And it sounds very exciting. I, I would love to, a conversation with you. But a broader question. Um, what is your bigger vision? Because, of course, you're presenting it as a, as you said, down to earth, creating business. Personally, I always look at the bigger picture, human civilization moving out into space. So what's, what's the bigger picture here? And also, there is an, a tremendous amount of backlash against space tourism, with the critique that billionaires are building this infrastructure and the rest of the world is burning, and now we, we're heading for this enormous food crisis. So, yeah, how, how do you respond to this kind of criticism? Sure. Um, uh, first of all, um, I talk to a lot of astronauts, and every time I talk to them, they talk about how beautiful this uh, Earth is. So one of the um, uh, mission that I, I hope to accomplish is the overview effect through this uh, travel to space. So I hope that more and more people get to travel to space and discover Earth, how beautiful this planet is. And uh, uh, as you predicted, or everybody, uh, everybody guess, guess it uh, rightly, the first passengers will most likely uh, be people with power. But I think that's a good thing, because if people with power is enlightened and inspired that, in, in inspired that oh my God, the planet's so beautiful, we need to protect it, hopefully <clears throat> that inspiration can channel the funds to the right to the right place, because they have power. Second, developing a hotel in space requires a lot of technology, sustainable technology, which can be applied here on Earth. For example, the space uh, uh, submerged hotel, I want to create a filtering system so that you don't uh, pollute uh, the water, obviously. Hopefully, that can be applied uh, to other um, means, um, which can help maybe to uh, pollute less. In fact, one of the reasons the Baltic uh, Sea, unfortunately, is polluted is because of human activities. So maybe these kind of filtering system that will be developed for the hotel, submerged hotel, can be utilized uh, for good. Thank you. More questions from the audience? Yes, please. Hey, yes, so uh, hey. thanks for the presentation. Um, I'm great to hear about the potential of uh, building the hotel here in Latvia. Uh, what, what support from the government perspective would you need to make the first steps into making this a reality? Well, I heard yesterday that Latvian smile inside, but first, I hope that uh, uh, Latvians go over that and smile to me and say, yes, let's do it, because I cannot read inside the mind, unfortunately. Um, but beyond that, um, uh, well, there's so many things. I mean, uh, because this is a huge challenge that, uh, you know, it, that, that is required to uh, accomplish. So <clears throat> um, first, uh, as a government, uh, you are responsible for uh, regulatory issues. So let, let private company like us uh, do this kind of project uh, without regulatory barriers. That's one. Second, I want to find uh, private companies to collaborate here in Latvia because I, I'm hoping that could create a new economy and new employment. And travel industry happens to be the largest sector for employment among any sectors. So it's a very important sector uh, for uh, employment purpose as well. So I, I truly believe that nurturing the, uh, 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 this technology to build a new uh, hotel, new concept, can help also the local economy. In fact, I, I understand that La, um, Latvia's tourism um, 
industry is one of the most important industry uh, in terms of GDP in this country. So I hope to contribute some way, and I hope uh, Latvia government will help me because I need help. Thank you. So we should encourage our students, our mm. new generation, uh, to work in the space industry. So before I ask questions from our online uh, listeners and watchers, I would like to ask how you started, why you chose the uh, space sector? Ah. Mm. So, mm. so I'm going to disappoint you and say uh, I'm not a space nerd, as I already mentioned. Uh, I'm, I wasn't one of those kids who went to museums, science museums, to look at rockets and all that and got fascinated. No. Um, I wanted to be an artist <laughs> and somehow ended up sitting here talking about space. So it's all an accident. But um, <clears throat> uh, I always wanted to make an impact. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to be an artist. Through my creation of art, I wanted to make an impact. Somehow, accidentally, it led me to the world of finance. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Investment banking. And then somehow it led me to uh, this world of uh, space. Um, so uh, my, my advice to any students uh, who are interested in you know, space is just do what, you th what you're passionate about and do it like, like put everything into it and excel in it. And then one day you'll uh, find yourself in, in the right industry that uh, you want to work for. And by the way, like I said, you don't need to be a scientist to be in this industry. This industry needs you know, all sorts of people. So, and actually, here is a question. Okay. Uh, what's more important for space, more engineers or entrepreneurs? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, I, I would say both uh, because... It should be synergy. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, 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 I truly believe we need both because without the engineers, you cannot build. But uh, without the business person like me, you cannot sell. And uh, both, both of them are really partners, true partners. And so I would say um, both are important. And uh, what do you say? What will be the next big thing uh, in the space industry, next trend? Ooh, tourism. Um, so up until now, space technology, amazing technology, has been utilized for uh, public sectors in general. Uh, except for some of the technologies like GPS that somebody was talking about yesterday uh, and other um, certain technologies that already the general public is enjoying. But um, I think more and more uh, in the future will be utilized for uh, uh, the general public. And one of the things I believe will be uh, tourism. Because don't you think it's exciting to go to space? <laughs> I hope that there will be time and we all uh, will be tourists in space. Uh, thank you very much. If there are no more questions, we can start with our networking and uh, the break for the lunch. Thank you very much and applause. Thank you.